Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will talk about animation on Desmos. Look at this. Now I am playing Mario on Desmos. You probably uh, want to learn how I did it, right? Let's get started. <laughs> This is the fourth video of Desmos Art Video Series. If you're a beginner and don't know about the functions a lot, I definitely recommend you to watch the first three videos, guys. You can find the links in the description below. And then come back here, continue watching the fourth video. Now, let's go to Desmos and start working. We will talk about the Mario animation, but first, let's talk about the basics. I will start with point animation. Um, here's a point A. When I write the coordinates, it appears here just like that. But if I want to animate the point, I can simply add a letter to any of those values, or for both values. For example, if I want to animate the point um, horizontally, I can add a slider for the X coordinate. Or if I want to do it vertically, I can do it for the Y coordinate. Let me add a slider for the X value. And you can click play. And you see guys, it starts moving. You can also do some changes here, like changing the speed. Next, let's talk about animating lines. I have a line here, y equals mx plus 5, and I am adding a slider for the m. Let's animate it. So changing m value animates the line and uh, give us lines with different slopes. We can also do some changes. For example, we can change the animation mode. There are several options here. So basically animations are created by sliders. You can also use one slider to animate more things. Let's say I have two lines here but I am using the same variable as you can see on both lines and uh, the slider moves both of them. That's great. Of course, we can write restrictions as well. I will talk about one more thing, piecewise functions. They are super important. Um, I have two equations here, right? Let's turn them into functions. And let's say the first one is f of x and the second one is g of x. Now, I will use these two and create a piecewise function, let's say um, capital A of x. Piecewise functions combines different functions and make them one single function. That's why they are super important. And these functions are written in this form. Open the curly brackets, write the interval for the first function, and the colon, add the name of the function you use. After you press comma, you can start this over and over again. Just add as many functions as you want. Now I have only two of them, so I will repeat this one for um, GeoFX as well. I will stop here and close the brackets. And I have a piecewise function A of X here. Let's hide F of X and GeoFX. Here's my piecewise function. Now what I will do is also really important. I am going to add a point on A of X. Here is a point P. And if I want this point to appear on the function, I need to add a variable for the x-coordinate. And then I am going to write the y-coordinates in the form of the function a of x. You see the point appears on the function. We can move it manually just like that. Let's change the starting and end values. Done. You can also hide a of x and only see the point, like a bouncing ball effect. We can also animate polygons. Uh, we can create polygons from table values. Let me quickly add some values here. We haven't talked about polygons before. Polygons are really easy to use, easy to create. For example, here's my table values and I am going to use the polygon tool to create a triangle. Just write polygon, open the brackets, just check the table values, the name of the table values you have. For x coordinate, it says x sub one. For y coordinate, it says y sub one and uh, yeah. It gives me a triangle. And adding more values to the table, guys, will increase the number of sides. This is the polygon tool. It's really useful, guys. You can use it for your projects. And let's say I want to animate the pentagon here. Add a variable in a table and move the slider. You can use the same slider or different variables for other points. We can also animate curves or even areas, just like that. Okay, now it's time to talk about the big project, Mario animation. First of all, I downloaded some pictures. Let's add them. Um, foldering is super important, so I will create the pictures folder first. Let's add pictures here, um, one for background. I will change the opacity. 
it's good and i need a ground here as well because i want it to be completely visible we can easily move or resize pictures and i'm going to add two clouds and this is today's star mario and we have two troops and don't forget um, his enemies right we have two deadly um, piranha plants here I told you before guys, order is important in Desmos, so plants needs to be behind the tubes. So let's move the plants up. And here's the plan. Mario will move like that. Plants will move up and down and the clouds will move um, right and left. Okay, let's create the function folder and start writing functions. First, I'm going to start with the, the Mario's path. Mario first moves forward and we need something like... Um, the center of the Mario to move right so it's, it's about y equals 1.2 and of course I will write it as a function so a of x equals 1.2 then we need a parabola which opens down so it has a negative leading coefficient the vertex something like 2 and 4 a vertex form is super useful on Desmos guys I will duplicate this and transform it a little bit to the right for the next function okay I need two more for the other tube and I am transforming the same function two more times and done. Now I will use these functions and the intersection points, they are super important, to create my piecewise function. Let's name it. I'm going to name capital A of X and start writing. You just need to check the intersection points and write the intervals. And remember guys, in piecewise functions, you need to write first interval colon uh, the name of the function and then you will add comma and continue writing other functions as many functions as you want just like that i use a of x first then b of x then c of x and then one more time a of x because it will continue to go forward at that part and then d of x f of x and then finally a of x one more time uh, by the way, we cannot create lowercase e of x because e is also used as Euler's number, so I skipped that. Let's hide all those and here's my piece by function. Now I need to put Mario there. First, I need a point on the function. Uh, we just did a couple of minutes ago guys, the same idea, a variable, then the y value. Let me set the max and min values for the interval. Great. Now let's go to the Mario's picture and place this point as the center of the picture. I am pasting the point here, done. Let's see. Okay, it worked great. I am going to put this animation at the top because this is the important one. Uh, now, let's do something similar for other objects. These plants need to move up and down, so the center x value needs to stay the same, and y value needs to be the variable. It will make the horizontal move. The center coordinates are x equals 3 and y equals 3.74. So I need to write a point, let's say point q, as um, 3 for x and the variable for y. Let's say n. Also, the other plants has a center at x equals 10.95 so I will also write another point let's say point R for the other plant and I will keep the same variable because I want them to move together so when I press play guys look how the points move that's great um, let's place these points at the center of the plants um, 3 3 n for the first one and 10.95 and for the second one done let's hide the points and animate it it looks really good finally the clouds i will keep their y value same and add sliders for x values i will not add the same variable because i want to move separately let's do this quickly Now everything is working. I will keep these animations running. If you don't stop them guys, keep them running. 
even if you send this link to someone, right, it will animate as soon as they open the link. Um, the only thing I want to animate by myself is the Mario. And here's the play button at the top. So you can just close all the folders and share it with your friends just like that. Um, let's start. It is good, right? You can also add effects like a game over when the Mario hits the plant, but it's it's the topic for another video, right? Okay guys, it is done. What do you think about our Mario animation? Did you like it? I hope you do. And if you do, don't forget to hit the like button. And we are very close to 10,000 subscribers, guys. Um, you can help us by subscribing this channel. I will continue recording more videos about Desmos. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and let me know. I will answer your questions as early as possible. So, see you next time. Goodbye.